For hundreds of years, ancient Egypt has captured the curiosity of the world. One of the most captivating practices of ancient Egyptian culture has been mummification and the treatment of their dead. Early ancient Egyptians would bury their dead in small pits in the desert sand which would dry out and preserve the bodies. Later, they began to bury their dead in coffins to protect them from wild predators, but soon realized that without the hot, sandy elements, the body would decompose. Over the centuries, the Egyptians developed a process that would preserve the dead. Today, we call this process mummification. The process of mummification began with embalming. First, the body is cleansed and washed with palm wine and then rinsed with water from the Nile. A cut is made in the left side of the body and the organs are removed, with the exception of the heart because it was believed to be the source of intelligence. This is one of the first steps because the organs are the first to decompose. The organs are washed and packed in natron, which is a natural salt, to dry them out. The brain was seen as no importance and was removed by using a long hook to smash and pull it out through the nose. It was then discarded. The body was then covered and stuffed with natron in order to completely dry it out. After 40 days, the body is again washed with water from the Nile, and then the skin is rubbed with oil to help the skin stay elastic. The dehydrated internal organs are wrapped and placed back into the body. The body is then stuffed with sawdust, leaves, and linen to help it look lifelike. Again, the body is rubbed with oil perfumes. Now the body is ready to be wrapped. In the past, the internal organs were wrapped and placed in jars called canopic jars, which were buried with the body. However, over the years, the process evolved and the organs were returned to the body. These jars were still buried with the body, symbolically protecting the organs. The first step of the wrapping process is to wrap the head and neck. The fingers and toes are then individually wrapped with strips of linen. The arms and legs are wrapped separately. While wrapping, the embalmers would place charms and amulets to protect the body on its journey to the afterlife. The arms and the legs of the mummies are tied together, and a papyrus scroll containing spells from the Book of the Dead is placed between its hands. The body continues to be wrapped, and resin is used as a glue to help the layers stick together. Finally, a large cloth is used to cover the entire body, and strips of linen are used to keep it in place. The body is placed in a coffin, which is then put into a bigger coffin. The body and its coffins are placed in a large sarcophagus, which is placed within the tomb. Valuable objects, such as treasure, furniture, and clothing are arranged around the sarcophagus in the tomb. The mummy is now ready for the afterlife, where its heart will be judged according to its deeds in life. If found pure, they will dwell and live for all eternity in the field of reeds.